Hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am your host, Vortex, from MobileMusicPro.com, your home for mobile music production. And if you are new to the channel, what we do here is release weekly videos teaching people how to produce music on their iOS device. Now, in today's video, we're going to be giving you our top five picks for the best AUV3 apps that can help you achieve that iconic sidechain effect. And remember, folks, if you do enjoy this content, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Now, if you are a relatively new producer, you might be asking yourself, what is the sidechain effect? Well, sidechain compression is a form of compression that at this point has found its way into every single major genre, and for very good reason, too. With normal compression, when the signal gets too loud, the actual volume is turned down, and this creates a more even and overall controlled signal. However, with sidechain compression, the compressor isn't actually listening to the incoming audio signal, and in fact is listening to a completely separate sidechain input to determine when to turn that volume down. Now, in the most simplistic terms, what sidechaining is mostly used for is to duck the melody signal every time the kick drum hits, creating a pumping or rhythm-like effect that really gets the head bobbing. Now, how do we actually achieve this sidechain effect? Well, there are a few different ways, including things like using automation plugins, or using the compressor plugin to trigger the compression from a kick drum, or manually automating the volume ourselves. Now, in this video, we're only going to be focusing on that first option, which is using automation plugins to achieve our sidechain effect. And as always, folks, remember that these are just our top five plugins, so definitely make sure to leave yours in the comments below. And now, with that intro aside, let's get right into showing you our top five picks for the best AUV3 sidechain apps. Hello and welcome everybody. We are wishing you the happiest of the happiest from Mobile Music Pro to wherever you are in the world. And just a brief disclaimer to let you guys know that this isn't exactly a tutorial video in that we're not gonna be going in depth into each one of these apps. But we do want to give you a quick overview of these apps and show you why we think they're so special. And as usual, these apps are in no particular order. Pretty much if any of these apps ever makes any one of our top lists, you can bet they're all number one in our book. And of course, remember that these are just our top five picks, so definitely make sure to leave yours in the comments below. All right, now first let's go ahead and start going through this sound demo, and then we'll start to add these AUV3 sidechain effects on top. Now what we have here is pretty much a 12 bar loop in the electronic genre, as that is where you can find the most prominent use of the sidechain effect. So before we do play this sound demo, let's quickly go through this project. As you can see, we do have eight tracks here, but there are a couple that are frozen. So first we have our kick and snare track here. This track does have a few plugins in here, including the channel strip and a couple of FAC plugins, including Transient and Maxima. And then on to our hats track here, we just have a couple of plugins, including the channel strip and the Studio EQ, which is going to be applying the factory preset of Electronic Hi-Hat 1. And then after that, we just have our quick FX riser here. And then underneath that, we have our bass track, which again, just has a couple of plugins, including the channel strip and Studio EQ. And then below that, we have our melody track, which again, is just going to have a channel strip and Studio EQ. But this is the track where we'll be applying all of our sidechain plugins. And below that, we only have a couple more tracks here. We just have the dark pad track, which is using the built-in synthesizer inside of Cubasis called Microlug. And again, just a channel strip and studio EQ plugins on that track. All right, now let's go ahead and play this for you without any sidechain plugins currently activated. Let's put on the headphones real quick. All right, very cool, a very simple EDM track. And now we're going to click on the melody track and begin applying our sidechain plugins. And the first app that we'll be talking about today is Pump House by Audio Damage, currently available for $3.99 in the App Store. Now, Pump House is a simple and excellent compressor taken straight from the Rough Rider 2 codebase and is coupled with a step sequencer driving an envelope generator. In this manner, you can sidechain compress your pads or bassline against a one measure pattern. No other inputs are required. So what we're going to do is enable this plugin and bring this up so you can see what it looks like. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Now the first thing we're going to do with each one of these plugins is play the sound demo with this plugin activated, and then we'll go through the user interface a little bit. So now that we have this enabled on our melody track, let's hit play. All 
All right, very, very cool. Definitely hearing that classic iconic sidechain effect. Now, right away, you can see on the left-hand side here, we have a bit of a step sequencer. And by default, we will be working with 16 steps here. To the right of that, we have our attack, release, and curve. And then finally, all the way to the right, we have our compressor settings, such as the ratio, sensitivity, makeup gain, and then finally our overall mix knob. Now what we're going to do is hit play on the track and play with a few of these settings so you can get an idea of how this app works. All right, very cool. As you can see, it's very easy to dial in the exact settings that you want. You'll really only be playing with a few knobs here, like the attack, release, and curve. As in most cases, I really do end up setting the ratio and sensitivity about the same every single time. And that goes same for the makeup gain and the mix. So if we go back to the preset that we created here by going to Pump House and go to My Presets, and we'll tap on Pump 2, you can see that we do keep the attack low, and the release a little bit high, and we keep our ratio around four to one. So we'll now quickly enable and disable this effect so you can hear exactly what's happening. All right, very cool. And we really do like this app with its hyper focus on that one single utility of creating that sidechain effect. All right, next up we have Sidekick by Bleece available for $7.99 in the App Store. Now the Bleece Sidekick plugin was the first AUV3 effect that offers a kick drum synth and a sequencer coupled with a sidechain compressor in order to bring unique and creative dynamics to your music. And we do have the app pulled up here, and as you can see, it is beautiful in typical Bleece fashion. We have one of our presets punched in here, and so what we're going to do first again is play the track with this effect plugin, and then we'll go through the interface. All right, yet another great sounding plugin. Now what's really cool about the Bleece plugin is it actually offers a kick drum synth with it. So you can see here that we have the ghost option on, but if you turn that off, you would actually hear a kick drum in each one of these places, which comes in really handy for just getting a kick drum pattern in there right away. So as you can see here with this kick drum synth, you have a bunch of different options for transforming the sound of your kick, including the ability to change the waveform and decide how much impact and punch you'd like it to have. So all these options here come in really handy for dialing in that exact sound that you want from your kick. Now we are of course not actually utilizing the kick drum synth here. As we said, we are enabling the ghost option to turn that kick off, but we are using the ducker feature over here on the right hand side. You'll have all your typical compression settings in here, such as your attack and release and of course your threshold, ratio, and makeup gain. When you combine these settings together, you really can dial in the exact duck that you'd like to have your melody have. So what we'll do now is play back the track and quickly enable and disable this effect so you can see exactly what's going on. So the first thing we're going to do is enable our ghost notes again by turning that on so that we don't actually hear the kick drum. Because again, we're just going to be using the ducker functionality over here on the right. So let's go ahead and hit play.
All right, there you go, folks. Another fantastic sidechain plugin, again, with a hyper focus on workflow to create that sidechain effect. And next up, we have the Perforator plugin by Bramboss, currently available for $3.99 in the App Store. Now, Perforator is a unique rhythmic gating audio effect. It will creatively snip, cut, gap, and filter any incoming audio to create rhythmic patterns out of sustained sounds. By tuning the slice envelopes, you can actually create anything from classic staccato trance gates all the way to the emulations of sloppy pumping sidechain compression which is of course what we're going to be using it for today. So as you can see, we do have the app pulled up here. And again, it is a beautiful app by Bramboss. Very simple and straight to the point. We have all of our factory presets over here on the far right hand side, and we're also browsing them on the left hand side inside of Cubasis. And as you can see, the effect that we currently have pulled up is the side chain effect. You can see that over here inside of Cubasis. And then if we scroll down here, you can see that is the effect that's currently activated. Now, just like before, we're going to go ahead and play our track with this effect on, and then we'll go a little bit more detailed into the app. So let's go ahead and hit play. Alright, perfect. Another instance of that classic sidechain effect. Now, just to quickly go over the interface over here, you can see that you have your pretty standard settings like attack and decay. And then you also have something pretty cool in this app over here to the right, which is your filter and amp. Now, when this knob is turned all the way to the right, it will be using the amp. But if you do turn it all the way to the left, it'll actually be using the low pass filter and you can adjust that cutoff right here. Below that, we just have our dry wet knob and our output gain. And something that's really cool to note is the sheer amount of presets that Bam Bros has included inside of this app. All of them sound really, really great right away. So pretty much usable right from the get go. And now let's go ahead and play back our track and enable and disable this effect so you can see what's going on. All right, sounding very good. Another classic sidechain effect has been achieved. So yet another simple and fantastic app from Brambross. We just can't recommend their apps enough. And next up is the Involver app being developed by FAC, currently available for $8.99. Now, Involver being a MIDI effect in its essence, controlling your synthesizer parameters, such as volume, cutoff, resonance, and so on, with MIDI CC and notes, FAC Involver is also able to transform the input audio via two exclusive effects, a noise gate and a trance gate. This combination is key to breathing life into your sound, providing interesting natural modulation and sequences that will always be different by nature. Now we do currently have this app pulled up and just like all the other FAC, the Frederick Anton Corvist apps, they are all amazing. Now, as you can see, we are currently using the FW sidechain button and we have the circuit type set to trigger instead of follower because this app does actually support a master and slave scenario where you put one instance of this app on the track that you'd actually like to trigger the compression and then put another instance of this app on the track that you'd actually like to apply that compression. Now we're not gonna be doing that in today's video. Again, we're going to be setting this to trigger mode. So we currently have this set to trigger mode, as we said, with a resolution of an eighth note pattern. And now we're going to go ahead and play our track for you with this plugin enabled. And then we'll go into a little bit more detail into the app. And so let's hit play. All right, very cool. Now, as we said, we do have this app pulled up again. And to the far left-hand side, you'll notice we just have the audio in and the dry wet, very simple and self-explanatory. And then we have our circuit type, as we mentioned earlier, how you actually want to trigger the compression. And then you can choose your resolution here. And of course, we have all the standard options from half notes to dotted notes, eighth notes, <laughs> everything in between. 
Now to the right of that, we can actually adjust the shape of our compression. Now, as you can see, we do have our visualizers here, letting us know exactly what our shape currently looks like. But we can change those right here. We can change the rise. As you can see, it's updating in real time here. We can change the fall. We can change the bias. And we can change the threshold. Now these visualizers really do come in handy, especially when you're trying to dial in an exact sound. Again, we're not going to be going too in depth into these apps, but we did want to show you these cool features. Now, just like before, let's go ahead and play back our track with this plugin enabled and disabled. Alright, there you have it, another fantastic app for achieving that classic and iconic sidechain effect. And of course, being developed by FAC, you can not only expect beautiful user interfaces, but top-notch algorithms, as most of the FAC apps out there really are best in class. And the final app on our top 5 list today is Flux Mini by Calum Audio. Is that Calum Audio or Calum Audio? Something like that. Currently available for 100% completely free. Now, Flux Mini is an AUV3 audio effect that adds life, character, and dynamism to your tracks. The customizable graph creates a shape which affects either the amplitude, low-pass filter, or high-pass filter. From simple sidechains to manic modulations, sculpt some life into your sounds, flux it up, and have some fluxing fun. Gotta love the descriptions over there by Calum Audio. Now, as you can see, we do have the app pulled up here and we have a preset in mind that is already set up. So what we're going to do first, as we did before, is play our track with this plugin enabled and then we'll go through a little bit of the user interface. So let's hit play. All right, very cool, a very beautiful sounding sidechain effect. Now, as we said, we did have the fake chain two preset here, but we did modify it just a little bit. We actually took this curve and made it a little bit more to the right. Now, one thing to note about this app is, just like the Perforator app from Bramboss, this app has a ton of amazing presets. It actually has like four or five or six different sidechain presets in addition to some other pretty cool modulations. And of course, we can browse all those presets here by tapping on the preset browser at the top and going to factory, or inside of Cubasis, we can browse them all on the left-hand side by going to the list browser and tapping on factory presets. Now, if we scroll down here again, we can see we have a bunch of very usable presets. In fact, almost all of these are usable right out the gate. Now, like the other apps, you can actually adjust the curve of your compression. But unlike the other apps, here, we're just going to drag and drop. So for example, you can drag any one of these circles anywhere you'd like. And we'll show you what that sounds like in just a second once we start playing our track. The ability to adjust these curves like this so easily in real time is really going to give you an unlimited amount of different options for modifying your sound. Now to the right of our visual editor here, we have a couple of options including the amp, low pass filter, and high pass filter. Below that, we can adjust our sync, resonance, and our overall mix. Now this, out of all the plugins, is probably the absolute most simple. It has the simplest user interface with the hyper laser focus on a modulation. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to loop our track and instead of enabling and disabling this effect, we're just going to be going through a few different presets. So let's go ahead and do that now. We'll go to the beginning and let's browse our presets and let's hit play.
All right, so as you can hear, just a ton of very, very usable, awesome presets from this app much like the other apps, really giving you a number of different modulation capabilities in addition to just sidechaining. All right, folks, if you are still rocking with us, we can't thank you enough for being here. And we especially can't thank those enough for being here live during our live premieres to help us build out this community. And speaking of community, we thought we'd mention that we are now officially on Clubhouse. So definitely make sure to give us a follow when you get a chance at Mobile Music Pro. And we'll soon be hosting our own weekly shows on there. So definitely make sure to follow us when you get a chance. Now we do hope that this video has cleared up any questions that you may have had around creating that iconic sidechain effect. We'll definitely be doing more sidechain tutorials in the future, specifically on how to make sure that you duck your 808s with your kicks. As with pretty much anything to do with music production, there really is an innumerable amount of ways to create various different audio effects. And sidechaining is no different, so definitely make sure that you experiment. And now on to some pretty big and exciting news from Mobile Music Pro. We are officially announcing our very first commercial product, which is a paid sample pack called Genesis. Now Genesis is going to be the first in a series that we're going to be calling our Pro Packs. Now these Pro Packs will end up being four times the size of our standard free Essential Pack series, which are already larger than most paid sample packs. Now this very first Pro Pack will focus on the trap and drill genre and actually have over 500 sounds and over 20 drum kits. Now we'll be releasing more details in the coming days, but Genesis is set to launch on March 3rd of 2021. Now we could really sell this pack all day long for 30, 40, 50, 60 dollars, but we're actually going to bring this down to the iOS mobile music community price point. And that means we'll only be charging $20, that's right, $19.99, but with a 50% discount for the very first week. Meaning that for the first seven days, you'll be able to pick up this pack for only $10. So we really are super stoked about this product. We think it's a great deal and we can't wait for you guys to get it in your hands. And finally, don't forget about our Cubasis 3 giveaway, where we'll be giving away a brand new copy of Cubasis 3 every month for the next three months. For details on how to enter this absolutely free giveaway, make sure to check out mobilemusicpro.com. And as always, folks, we always have a ton more stuff coming your way, so if you do want to keep up to date with everything that we're doing with these giveaways, videos, sample packs, and more, make sure to check out our free mailing list at mobilemusicpro.com. And so, until next time, everybody, keep talking music, and we'll see you later. Or, use, or using a compressor plugin to trigger the kick or using a or using a compressor plugin to trigger or using a um, or using a compressor plugin god damn it